Hi girls, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my Erin Condren and I'm going to be using this kit from The Giving Girl. Her kits are huge and I love her paper. I'm super excited to use this. I have not used one of her kits in a very, very, very long time, but I picked this up during one of her $2 Tuesdays and each she was $2. So it was a steal, but I believe you got like the last two sheets free or something of that sort because I remember the kit was only 12 bucks but there's eight sheets so it was a deal you get so much perfect for spreading it out between two weeks or using it in two different planners so we are going to get into it the first thing I'm doing is putting the bottom washi down I think this bottom washi is stunning so I definitely wanted to use it this week after I put that down, I'm going to grab a full box. It was kind of hard to choose this week because there was no quote box. So I kind of liked it, but I kind of didn't. But I ended up going with the shirt. I just thought it was super cute. And now I'm going in and putting all my full boxes down. It was my sister's birthday on Monday. So I wanted to use a wine, like the wine glass, but also because it was Bachelor in Paradise. And I know like Wine Monday slash like bachelorette bachelor wine all that shenanigans but so i that kind of goes hand in hand right anywho the kit comes with an, a couple extra full boxes so i went through and just dispersed them i think that's probably not the right verb but that's any anywho i'm going in and just scattering them there we go scattering them throughout the week the kit actually comes with i believe 12 full boxes so I omitted a couple and swapped them. I could not figure out how I wanted to put them throughout the week. So it took a little jumbling, but this paper is very forgiving. And low key, Thursday's box kind of looks like me. It's a little funky. I'm still trying to get with it. But I'm going to go in now and add some scalloped washi from Sadie's stickers. And I had to change my angle because I... I played with my tripod this weekend and I screwed up the angle so I had to fix it real quickly in the middle of the video. Anywho, I added this scallop washi from Sadie's stickers. This was a $2 Tuesday and it just adds such a cute little touch to the bottom washi. And to separate the different sections in my sidebar this week, I'm going to go in with the traditional like OG Simply Gilded washi tape. This is the 10 millimeter, so I'm going in and using that. I um, decided to skip the habit trackers this week. So I'm just gonna go in with the weekly tracker and a ombre heart checklist. I was trying to figure out what colors I wanted to do, so I ended up going with the like taupe brown color. And then I ended up going and couldn't figure out which washi because this kit does not come with patterned washi. It does come with like patterned headers, but I wanted a thicker strip. So I just used a simple pink one to use as a header for my weekly tracker. And then again, I went in with the Simply Gilded washi and then another just solid washi strip from the kit and then a checklist to mark the two couple of my to-dos I wanted to do this week. Wow, a lot of to-dos. So I couldn't decide which color I ended up going or wanted to go with. I ended up going with the gray and then I went in again and I added some more Simply Gilded Washi just to close it off, like bookend it. And then I had to trim it off. So I just went in with my slice tool. I love my slice tool. And I used an Erin Condren ruler as well. And I had to flip, do a little flippy roo. I don't know what flippy roo means. Anywho, I went in and I flipped it so then I could get a nicer cut, like angle. And then I had to go in with my scissors and trim that bottom part down. I am then going in and I'm going to use some overlays. I have overlays from Simply Watercolor Co., Simply Beautiful Plants, and Sadie's Stickers. And then I also have the Rose Colored Days overlay tape from her anniversary box, but in the rose gold version she released a couple weeks ago. So here where nothing is moving, that is where I am trying to open the Rose Color Days tape. And then I also remembered that I had the Nikki Plans Rose Color Days collab header tape that I really wanted to use. 
So I got really excited when I remembered I had that. But I ended up going in and just putting down tons of overlays. I could not figure out where, which ones I wanted to do. So I ended up just skipping over the filming of this part because it took a very long time. But I added some from Simply Beautiful Plants, Simply Watercolor Co., Sadie's Stickers, Rose Colored Days. And now I'm going in with headers from Nettie Design. She has my all-time favorite rose gold solid head foiled headers. I'm going in with those and putting those over the full boxes. And then you will see that I'm going in with the floral patterned headers. And I'm going to put those on one of the other empty boxes. And then I'm going to use a strip of the washi tape from Rose Color Days and Nikki Plans. It's super nice because that is perforated. So super easy to just peel and apply. And then I'm going in with Sadie's Stickers Bow Headers, which will come up momentarily. But as you can see, I'm just putting the headers down. At first, I was a little skeptical about this because all the different bows and patterns going on. But in the end, I think it turned out really, really cute. And I'm really excited. And these perforated headers are just absolutely stunning. I wish I picked them up in the other foil colors. I know that I will get so much use out of this. So I better start using a little more rose gold in my life. But now I'm going in and I'm going to add the Sadie's Stickers bow headers. These are the single bow headers. I love these so much. And this is in the gray colorway. She has a couple different ones. And I realized that I had two headers next to each other that were the same. So I had to go and do some flippy floppies. I don't know what language I'm speaking today. But I'm going to finish putting those down just so every box has a header and I guess a little bit of a title. I'm now going in with Clever Gal Crafts flags. You later in the video will see that I change these, but here these are the scattered bows and peonies. And I really like them, but I wanted to just tie more of the brighter fuchsia in, so I ended up changing them. But in the meantime, I'm going to take some My Newest Addiction script headers and you'll see I go in and change those as well. Justenia from Justenia Printables and Planner Sophisticate um, wrote those. And then Laura from My New Seduction created them. And now going into the day-to-day -day plans. It was my sister's birthday. It is my sister's birthday today, which is Monday. So I'm going in with a Letters to Apollo script. It says Happy Birthday. And then a Nikki Plus 3 bow. That was in the cotton candy colorway. And I originally did this video as a chit chat, but my mind and my planning was all over the place. So I ended up going in and just doing a voiceover. So I apologize if you like chit chat videos. I'll definitely do one again next week. But I just wanted to get this up. And yes, I used my sweatshirt to use to get fix my undo. I was going insane and I was also too lazy to get up. That was probably not a good idea. But I'm going in with the Rose Color Days script and using a This Week in the A To Do. And I was going to say before I mentioned the using my sweatshirt for undo, I ended up getting a couple, this weekend I got a couple coupon codes to multiple different shops that they shared with me. So definitely check out the description bar if you want to save some money. I put all of the shops I mentioned as well as all my discount codes. So definitely check down there. And then I'm deciding how I want to mark work this week. I just could not decide. But I knew I wanted to use a script from Letters to Apollo. So I'm going to use a script from Letters to Apollo. But I couldn't decide if I wanted to use a box or a flag or an icon or what. So I ended up going in and using a flag from Clever Gal Crafts. This is in Sidewalk Chalk. And I got this during a shorty sale. And I just thought that this fuchsia matched beautifully with this kit. And as you can tell, the fuchsia kind of is the outlier of the kit right now. But once I pulled in the flags, I changed the flags up in the two corners. It really tied everything together. So just wait. Hold your horses. I promise it comes together. Next to market that I worked out in the morning, I do hit workout on Monday. I'm going to use a Sadie's Stickers Circle Ike, or a little circle layering piece with a paper blush bar water bottle icon. And then to use as a separator slash a little extra decoration for my sister's birthday, I'm going to use a heart accent from Rose Colored Days. 
Next, I wanted to mark Bachelor in Paradise. I'm going to use Planning World icon, the little movie thing, my bob. So I'm going to use that and then a half or a quarter box from Netty Designs. I decided to go in and just mark work for the rest of the week because the color was kind of throwing me off because it was kind of the outlier of the kit. So I ended up just going through and marking work just to kind of get that also out of the way. And I'm going again to use the letters to Apollo work scripts. These are my favorite. I'm loving them. I have been loving them for quite a long time. And this is our 2.0 version. She does have a 1.0, but I do love the 2.0. And those are on my freebie as well. If you use the code Amanda10, you can get the a little a sample of the work 2.0. Next, for Tuesday, I am able to sleep in tomorrow, so I'm super duper excited. I'm going to use a pillow from a functional sampler from My Newest Addiction in the pink watercolor. And I'm just layering some of the uh, leftover flower header. I'm using those as like a backdrop for the washi or the pillow. And then I'm going in and I'm going to use a quarter box from My Newest Addiction and a tennis shoe from crafts by Towie to mark sprints. I have to do sprints tomorrow so I'm going to mark that using those two stickers and then I'm also excited. I'm meeting my teacher on Wednesday that I'm going to be student teaching with for the first eight weeks of the semester. I'm really excited. Also a little nervous but I have a big smile on my face while I'm talking about it. So I'm going in with a half box from the kit and then two hearts from Clever Gal Crafts. Again I'm going in with the icon or the little circle from Sadie stickers and then fitness icon from paper blush bar to mark strength training on Wednesday and that's really all I have for Wednesday Thursday it's payday my favorite day of the week is payday I went with the panda bird design scallop I ended up changing that just to a different color I didn't think the colors matched perfectly but then I'm going but before I do that I'm going in with a paper blush bar confetti bow dot and a my new addiction kettlebell to mark that I have to lift on Thursday. And then Thursday night I'm going out with some friends. We're going to get dinner. So I used a planning world half box. I adore these half boxes with the ribbon bow. I think it's stunning. So I used one of those. And then on Friday, Shop Villa Beautiful is releasing a couple new pens. So I wanted to use this pen from Crafts by Towie that kind of looks like it. So I used that with a half box or a quarter box and as you saw I showed that I changed the flags in the corner from and then I those flags I used in the corner for, again from Clever Gal Crafts and then I used two more flat or hearts from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that Letters to Apollo is reopening. Super excited about that. So I just layered two hearts over top and then I wanted to mark that I, it was new releases, so I used the Planning World little shopping bag slash script icon, but I didn't like the pinks, the two pinks together. I don't think it, it they were off. So I ended up using a Sessa V arrow instead, and I love how that turned out. And then for Saturday is leg day, so I'm going to mark that with a Hello Petite paper icon, a little kettlebell, and then a Netty Designs quarter box. And then I'm going in with some Panda Bird Design scallops to mark that I wanted to film my plan with me. I didn't decide, I couldn't decide where I wanted to place that because I think, I don't just couldn't decide. I ended up going with that, which I like how it turned out. And I really wanted to use these quarter boxes from The Giving Girl, but I just couldn't, I couldn't. But I'm going to use them in next week's spread. Anywho, I'm going in and I'm taking Letters to Apollo film plan with me and plan with me live to mark that I want to film and upload my video. Finally, I'm going in with a, another half box to mark that I teach Sunday school on Sunday morning. I did put it at the bottom just because I wanted to put a little more of that brighter color at the bottom. And then finally, I'm taking a bow from Nikki Plus 3. All right, everyone, this is the spread. I know it looks really busy, but I like it. I think it's different. I like all the bows and the rose gold. It makes me fall in love with the rose gold again. And I'm really happy that I ended up pulling in these flags from Clever Gal Crafts um, as like I because I changed the color and I think that helped a lot with pulling everything in together. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at My Life Stuck on Paper. And I'll see you all soon. Bye girls.